Okay, so some questions from my viewers. <laughs> Ken George Jones wants to know if there are any tapes which are in a more degraded condition and more difficult to work with. And also, um, do you have a personal favorite from the videos that have been uploaded online so far? Right. Um, well, the tapes are Super VHS, uh, VHS, and 8mm. Um, they were all kept uh, in pretty good condition until uh, Dick Richards decided in, what was it, about five, no, five six years ago that uh, the tapes really needed to go into an institution. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the tapes themselves, they're not really degraded. Um, there's a couple that are broken that the fails is going to fix. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, now, now they're at the fails, you know, in uh, uh, New York University. And they're in a climate control place, uh, and so you know they're they should be totally fine for the next God knows how many years. I mean those VHS tapes, they were they're um, they're like iron horses. I mean a lot of them look look better than some of the eight millimeter, which I thought was funny. <laughs> that is interesting, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and uh, my favorite tape, that's a cross up between his last tape, mm -hmm. just because of all the things he says. Uh, I talked to a lot of people. Uh, who met with him that day, and they all were very specific that um, the way he was talking to them was as if he knew that was the last time he would ever talk to them again. So when you watch that tape and you listen to what he's saying, like, this is the last day I'll be running. Mm -hmm. It's, you know. Um, and besides that, you know, I guess one of my other favorite tapes is uh, going with Christina to see Jane County. I love that tape. It's so much fun. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and then there's just so many more, but you know, I'll say those too. Okay. Um, Hera Metep wants to know about uh, Nelson Sullivan's drag alter ego amnesia. Was mm -hmm. she a personality that Nelson expressed often, or was it a, a one-off that he did drag? Yeah, Nelson didn't do drag, but RuPaul put him up to it one night. There, I think there's two two tapes. There's uh, the Gay Pride Parade where Amnesia's there, and then there's one of RuPaul giving uh, Amnesia a makeover. And, um, you know, the American Music Show was very much into, um, not necessarily drag, but uh, in the Southerners, they created characters, and if, you ha and if it happens to be that you're a man and you needed to play Aunt Roz, then he dressed up as a woman. Mm -hmm. It wasn't necessarily drag, it was just uh, creating a character. So that's when, uh, you know, Nelson got off, you know, I think just for that moment doing that, but he didn't do drag, you know, at all, you know, except for those those two times, you know, that I'm aware of. Okay. Um, Christine Collins asked about um, if you are archiving on behalf of an institution and also will all of Nelson's footage be uploaded online eventually? And what other steps are being taken to preserve his work? I think maybe you might have addressed that already. Yeah, so the number three, they're at um, uh, New York University and they're being housed there. Uh, I can't, uh, number two, I can't imagine we're ever going to put up all the tapes because that's well over 1,200 hours and that would just be so much work. Mm -hmm. um, and then what was the first question? Um, <laughs> oh, oh it, it, I, I work for myself. I work, um, you know, I don't get paid for this. This has been. Uh, a labor of love when I'm, uh, you know, there's times that I'm lucky that, you know, at a film festival or going to a lecture, you know, they'll pay my way. They might give me a little per diem. Um, but I don't do this for any other reason than out of uh, love and respect of the work. Okay. Robert Keach wants to know, um, it's a two-parter. First of all, um, were all of Nelson Tapes Nelson Sullivan's tapes labeled, and also, can we expect to see more videos on Christina? Um, all the all the tapes are labeled, and you can actually go to if you type in on Google Nelson Sullivan video logs. Yeah, you'll find that you'll find a page, and it gives. It's not totally comprehensive, but it gives you at least some of the things that are on there. I've been logging the tapes myself, and I have um, um, just paper, you know, with the log sheet. And I write down every place that's, that is, you know, at that, um, on that tape. 
everybody who's there, any good quotes, you know. So I'm making a real comprehensive list. Okay. Um, regarding Christina, yeah, we might uh, we might put some more up. Um, I think we put up a lot. Um, you know, I have to go back and look at that and see if there's anything that we haven't put up yet. You know, there's some, I, I don't think we put up some of Christina when Christina isn't in Christina Drag. You know, because um, yeah. his real name was uh, Chris, I forget his last name. Um, but, you know, looking at that person is just as interesting as the, um, the Nico uh, version of Christina. Yeah. Okay. Um, Forever 21 me asked, do you know where Nelson's final resting place is? And is he buried alongside his, his family members? Yes, I believe he's with the family plot in Kershaw, South Carolina. Okay. And, and I think his mother and, um, is there. His mother died about 10 years ago, and his brother just died two years ago. Okay. Uh, the source asked, is there more information about Nelson's funeral, like who attended? And also, has anyone famous that you're aware of spoken of Nelson or his work publicly? <laughs> well, regarding the funeral, I think it was a private thing. Mm -hmm. Um there was a memorial in, um, uh, uh, what's that park in New York? Anyway. Central Park? Yeah, Central Park, yeah. sorry. Um, okay. Um, you know, and a lot of them went, you know, um, I think Rue was out of town, but Larry and Lahoma and all them, um, all the usual suspects, you know, uh, there's, there's no pictures or there's no documentation of it. I just heard that happened. Um, yeah, and what's it, what was the second half of the question? Um, has anyone famous that you uh, know of spoken of Nelson or his work publicly? Yeah, well, you know, uh, Michelle Visage. Mm -hmm. I, I heard her talk about him uh, on one of Rue's podcasts. Rue, of course. Rue is called uh, Dick Richards and Nelson Sullivan, you know, his mentors. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, the, the world of wonder. Yeah. You know, have always praised him. If, you know, they, they've told me personally that if it wasn't, you know, for watching him and knowing him, you know, they probably wouldn't be where they are now with the world of wonder. Wow. But yeah, I mean, there's, there's a, there's a lot of people. It'd be hard to go through the list and I would have named you know, a lot of them anyway. So. Okay. Michelle E. asks, can you ask about Nelson's history after his college graduation and what brought him to New York? And what jobs did he have? That's, I guess, mm. another three-parter. Yeah, well, if you, if you watch the, uh, the uh, Judy Parade, he talks about it on the stairs that, that he went to New York. His brother was living there, Marco, and uh, this was in 69. And um, he went down to the village, and he didn't realize he was in the middle of the Stonewall riots. He just thought they were having a big party. Mm -hmm. um, and that really influenced him. And so he moved to New York in... I think 71, he finished off, he was in college at the time, and um, I think it was actually North Carolina, and uh, he went right to New York, and he was, regarding jobs, he was a pie maker, he was a taxi driver, he owned a hair salon, um, and then he finally wound up at uh, the Costco music store Paddleson's, which was behind Carnegie Hall. Mm -hmm. And he stayed there until his death. Okay. He was a man of many talents then. He was. And if you think about it, I mean, uh, you know, one of his good friends, Kenan B. Rain, said uh, when I told her, because uh, a lot of his friends didn't know what he what he did back in the 70s. Mm -hmm. And um, when she found out he was hairdresser, she went, oh, my God, that makes perfect sense. Because with a hairdresser, you know, you're sitting there with your hair wet, you're looking in a mirror, you look like hell. And this person is there, you know, talking you up and making you feel beautiful as you go. Yeah. And she said that's what Nelson's camera did for so many people, that they gave them the confidence to really feel good. And for a lot of them, to, to feel confident in front of a camera, mm -hmm. you know, which, again, is what I think, uh, you know, really helped people like RuPaul, yeah. you know, to learn how to work it. Because you didn't, you didn't have cell phones back then. You didn't have really any outlet. So. And then Maritza Aponte wants to know, was Nelson ever in a relationship that you know of? Yes, he had a um, he had a boyfriend in the seventies, 
um, I, that I don't know anything about except that they co-owned the hair salon, mm -hmm. which was on, I think, Fifth Avenue. Then they had one on Fire Island as well. It only lasted for a couple of years. Um, he had a boyfriend that lived with him at 5'9", from like eh, 81 to 83. Mm -hmm. And then after that, um, no, he, he his camera was his boyfriend, I think, at that point. Yeah. You know, um, he had a big crush on trade, but they were never a couple, you know. It seems like a lot of people had a big crush on him. A lot of people had a big crush on trade, yeah. yes. You know, I mean, trade was photographed by um, uh, Herb Ritz in the 90s and a bunch of other photographers. Um, I used to look at him, I didn't realize, but he had posed for a 976 um, ad um, that I used to see in... Um, out magazine, mm -hmm. and um, one day I realized that that was actually trade, and that you know just made me laugh. Trade was, you know, he had the body of death, you know, back then. Mm -hmm. and then but he's a, and he's the nicest guy. That's the best thing, you know. I talk to him now, and he's so sweet, and mm -hmm. now he's a chef. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then the last question I have for you is. What's next in terms of Nelson Sullivan, uh, like exhibits or any upcoming events, maybe future uploads? Um, you know, Dick's been looking at stuff, so um, he's kind of taken a little hiatus, a winter hiatus. Yeah. Um, as for exhibits, I'm hoping for two big ones in 2019, and once those are confirmed, I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we're really hoping that Someone's going to finally want to do a documentary on them. That would be great. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah, so when we all, I just don't know how they're going to do it. You know, I've been trying to figure out, you know, how to do it more than just having people sit there, you know, heads on the screen and then going back. I, I really like what the World of Wonder did um, in 94, uh, the BBC one, Nelson Sullivan's World of Wonder. Mm -hmm. That was really good.